Thanks for watching today's Drawing for Kids video brought to you by the Ann Arbor District Library and the Ann Arbor Art Center. Today we are going to be drawing bird's eye buildings. So grab a piece of paper, a pencil, and a ruler and let's get started. So first things first is to map out where you want um, your like grassy area, the places where you're going to build your building, so to speak, and places where you're going to have roads. So you can kind of see my road lines there. Um, um, and then the, I guess, three in a little teeny tiny sliver of area where I'll place my buildings. And then we are going to draw shapes to um, define the shapes of the buildings. And so make sure that you're using the ruler to help get some straight edges. Otherwise, you can see how it will be a little wonky. You can um, go ahead and add a little bit of detail to some of the buildings if you want and if you want them to have a different angled roof or something like that but for the most part um, we're just going to go ahead and jump in to creating this um, perspective. So this is one point perspective so you're going to put a dot that's about in the middle there of your paper and what you're going to do is take the ruler and line up the dot there that is our vanishing point and the corner of the shape of your building so if you have a square then you are going to connect those um, that dot or uh, the dot in the center to the corner of your square and then draw a line that connects that and it's really helpful here you can see what I'm doing but I'm drawing those lines and then I'm also I have to draw the end of the building so this top part that we've drawn or the shapes we drew first is actually just the rooftops and so from there we have to draw the bottom part the ground floor of those buildings and so whatever shape that you used on the top part is the same that you're going to use on the bottom so you're going to kind of cut it off and then you erase the rest of it where it meets to um, the dot, the vanishing point there. And, um, you know, depending on how tall you want the buildings, if you want them to all be kind of in a, in a row and lined up, you can kind of play with that and experiment. Obviously, go back and replay and watch mine. Um, also, make sure that you get those corners of the buildings if you have a kind of irregular shaped building. And then don't forget the windows. So um, I know I went ahead and did some of the rooftop uh, restaurants and stuff on there, but don't forget to do the windows. Now you don't have to do all of them, but you're gonna do it the exact same way. You can do kind of a grid mark, or you can do a shape like that's kind of rectangular or just do horizontal stripes. It's really up to you how you wanna go about that. And then my favorite part is just to do the rooftops. And so you can decide to add some shading if you want um, and to show kind of a 3D looking roof that's more angled or you can also create some cool scenes such as a swimming pool or a hangout spot, a game room, a restaurant, Anything like that will be cool. A garden. Um, and then around the buildings that's on the actual ground, you can also add um, some trees and bushes, flowers, gardens, whatever you want there um, in the background space. And then if you want to, you can add more shading. You can do whatever you want. Of course, you can color it. It's up to you. So get as detailed or keep it as simple um, as you'd like. It's really up to you how you design your own little space. I hope you enjoyed today's video.